Hello, everybody, and a very Merry Christmas. I'm Richard Olson, and welcome along to a very special House of Games, a Christmas House of Games. What could be better than having the whole family around playing a series of ridiculous games? I know almost anything could be better than that. That's why you only have them around once a year. So we are going to do it for you this year. I've got four famous faces. They're all lined up. And at the end of it, even though it's only a one-off show, somebody wins a trophy. Can you believe it? Shall we meet our four players? They are Sarah Hadland. Alex Horn, Charlene White, and Craig Revel Horwood. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas Merry to you. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Sarah. Christmas. Lovely to have you here. <laughs> now, uh, are you a competitive person, Sarah? Um, yes, but I'm not very good at quizzes. Oh, I mean, that is literally mwah, perfect. That's the sweet spot for this programme. Do you think? OK, yeah. so very aggressive, trying to win, but clearly haven't got perfect. the answers. Aggressive but wrong is what oh, we look yes. for in a player. <laughs> So that describes you. me really well, actually. I'll take that. Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs> Alex Horn, <laughs> you've been on the show before. Yes. And you were rather successful on the show before. Well, I'm not competitive, but very good at quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yin and yang we have here, isn't We've it? We've got to pair up, obviously, okay. yeah. Um, but lovely to have you back for Christmas. Charlene. You've Hi. also been on the show before. How lovely to have I you have. here. I was disappointed after your week when you were on. I thought well, every time I watched you on the news from then on, you'd have a buzzer <laughs> and you never did. Do you know what? I keep asking for one and they won't give me one. Just in the middle of interviewing a politician. Just... <laughs> Craig, I look at you and I see Christmas because Strictly is Christmas, isn't it? You're a Christmas fan. Yeah, I absolutely love Christmas and it is Strictly at Christmas is Christmas, I think, mm. actually. Strictly at Christmas is Christmas. Yep. They should call it that. <laughs> they should. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Strictly at Christmas is Christmas. Yeah, a <laughs> Now, Craig, we've got some presents as well. Would you like to have a look at our Christmas yes, prices? Yes, oh, yes. yes, please. I don't know what these are either. These will be a, these will be a surprise <gasps> to me. Wow. wow. They're so Christmassy. Wow. You've got a pillowcase and duvet set, Christmas fondue, which I honestly think it might be a fondue just with some tinsel on it. Mm. But yeah. uh, let's say it's a Christmas fondue. Yeah. We've got um, some House of Games sherry, lovely House of Games woody scarf, and a wheelie suitcase, but in Christmas colours. Mm. And, wow. and I think that would be, yeah, nice at the airport, a bit like you on a case. It looks good, doesn't it? Me on a case looks good. Yeah. Exactly right. That's yeah. why I joined the Metropolitan Police. <laughs> Craig, what would you go for of those prizes if you were I to win? I would take probably what I'll be leaving with which is the bag, <laughs> <laughs> my suitcase and go. Craig is not confident. Charlene, what would you go for? Just in case I... Alex wants to give you a prize at the end. Uh, yes, if Alex wants to give me a prize, I would quite like Alex, do not forget. I, I want the, the pillowcase and bed sheets. Right. Uh, Alex, what would you go for? <laughs> I think the fondue set. Mm, I think do you mean, sorry, the what? Sorry, the Christmas fondue oh, set. the Christmas fondue set, sorry, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, oh, lovely. Um, listen, Merry Christmas, one and all. Shall we play? Yes. Please, please. Let's play our first round. It is... <laughs> rhyme time, or as I like to call it, Christmas rhyme time. Uh, it's just rhyme time, <laughs> but it's at Christmas, isn't it? I'm going to ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. So fingers on buzzers, everyone, or fingers on Christmas buzzers, please. Here are your first two questions. Dance partner typically paired with Ginger Rogers and song about a snowman famously performed by a young Alid Jones. Yes, Sarah. Fred Astaire walking in the air. That's a I correct answer. Well done. Fred Astaire <laughs> walking in the air. Well done, Sarah. Here is your next one. Fictional honey-loving bear who lives in Hundred Acre Wood. And what is the title of this song? Yes, Alex. Winnie the Pooh, especially for you. Well played, Alex Horn. Put to you. Uh, here's your next one. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Britpop band who released Beetle Bum and Country House. And traditional gifts brought by the wise men to the baby Jesus. Yes, Alex. Blur, gold, frankincense and myrrh. It is correct. Well done. Blur, gold, frankincense and myrrh. Well done if you said that one at home. Here's your next question. Fingers on buzzers. What are these and what is this? Yes, Sarah. Flip-flops, triceratops. Beautiful. Well played, Sarah. Uh, here's your next one. Who is this and what is the title of this song? Yes, Alex. Is it Pretty Patel and Highway to Hell? Is it Pretty Patel, Highway to Hell? 
It is. Wow. Here's your next one. Rich and creamy festive drink. And protagonist of Around the World in 80 Days. Yes, Charlene. Eggnog and Phileas Fogg. <gasps> Eggnog, Phileas Fogg. Wow. There we go. Well done, Charlene. Yeah. 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 Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. I'm polishing my red knob, darling. I'm polishing my red knob. Listen, everyone's got to have a Christmas hobby, haven't they? <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely for Craig to get this one? It would be yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, here we go, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Oval-headed puppet in the TV show Rainbow. And what is the title of this song? Oh, I know this song. Can't make head nor tail of passion. Oh, my love. Oh, Craig has gone for it. Ooh! Zippy and deeply dippy. You got it. <laughs> right. Well done. Oh, I thank you. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard, <laughs> shall we, on uh, our Christmas <laughs> House of Games. Here's how we're starting. Craig and Charlene, you have one point each. Uh, Sarah, you got two. Alex Horn, early leader with three points. Happy Christmas. Well, but happy Christmas, Alex. It's nice, isn't it? Here's your next round. <laughs> Distinctly average. This is a pairs game, so the player in last place gets to choose their partner. Um, Craig, would you like to, to choose who you play with in this round? Yeah, I'm going to go with Charlene. Oh, oh that's oh, nice. Both on one. So, Charlene and Craig are a team. Alex and Sarah, you're a team. I wonder if you could take out your tablets for me, please. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, OK? They've all got numerical answers. You just need to write down whatever you think the answer might be, OK? I will then take the average of each pair's answers. Let's take a look at your first question. According to an Office for National Statistics approximation, UK supermarkets sell how many individual Brussels sprouts at Christmas time. Ooh. How many individual Brussels sprouts um, are sold by UK supermarkets? What do you think on this one? It's a tricky one, that, isn't it? Yeah, there, you've mm. got to think there's a lot of them on a bushel. Is that what it's called? A, a bushel? A bushel of Brussels. A bushel of Brussels sprouts. Yeah, maybe. What do you think at home on this one? Have a little, uh, have a little guess. OK, so everyone uh, is in. Sarah, what was your thinking and then what's your answer? I'm thinking a lot. I've gone, I've gone mahoosif. Are you ready? Okay, yeah, certainly. Yeah. One million, yeah, you say? Yeah, that's right, one million okay. sprouts. One million, I don't, maybe that's not that big. Can I make it bigger? Is it too late? No, it's, yeah, it is too late. So, Alex, uh, Sarah thinks she's gone big with one million. Do you think that's big? Well, Sarah thought she'd gone mahoosive. Oh. Yeah, she, oh, so yes, I've she did. gone... <gasps> uh, a hundred million. A hundred oh. million. What are you wow. covering, what are you covering well, up? Well, I started to write sprouts and then my thing stopped working. <laughs> oh. OK. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know it was sprouts, so I've covered it up for professionalism. That's so yeah. professional. Uh, so your average, I think, of workout is 50.5 million. Charlene, what was your thinking? We do eat quite a few. Now I think I've really underplayed it after okay. Alex's one. But I said 2,100,000. Mm, OK, <laughs> let's find out. Craig, you've gone up or down from 2,100,000? I've gone slightly down. OK. Oh. Bizarrely, but 2 million. <gasps> oh! Yeah, I thought 2 that? million. So your average is 2,050,000. So let's take a look, shall we? How many individual Brussels sprouts are sold and which team has scored a point? Mm. Wow! wow. Okay. 750 million. I mean, 750 wow. million. He was absolutely all across it, sprout wise. But still, wasn't he? still but 650 million you, wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you were, you were going in the right half direction. Half a billion wrong. That's about 10 each, roughly, maybe a bit more, and only half of them get eaten. Here's your next question. The fastest swim across the English Channel was completed in 2012 by Trent Grimsey in how many minutes? What do you think at home on this one? Six. My policies put the same number each round. And then eventually it's going to work. Each question. So you're going 100 million. 100 million minutes. 100 million minutes. <laughs> That's how long it would take me to swim the English Channel with various breaks. Um, Charlene, what's your thinking and what's your answer? My thinking, it's a really long way. Yeah. <laughs> but I assume the man with the made-up name is quite fit. Yeah. So I figured I'd go for 75 minutes. Oh. 75 minutes? Yeah. So just over an hour. Yeah. Like a, about as long as it takes in the hovercraft. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 I said he had to be fit. <laughs> I said he had to be fit, didn't I? Yeah. We'll find out that Trent Grimsey is the name of a ferry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so 75 minutes, Craig. I get, I get the feeling I'm oh going to dear, I went, now. Have you gone up Well from above that, Craig? that, I went 3,000. 3,000 minutes. 3,000 minutes. Which is up 50 hours. So two days. Oh. <laughs> so... Uh, no, that's the average I need to take a zero The average off. is going to be amazing. I need to... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So you think... So your two answers. You could probably donkey clear. paddle there in that time with a float. Your, your two answers about the same time as a hovercraft, <laughs> and just over two days. Okay. We're doing really well. I mean, we're doing so well. We're amazing. We are so good. <laughs> yeah, our average is really work are. Out. Oh yeah, totally. We'll see. We will see. Your average. Excuse me, everybody. Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Your average just it's the quickest ever. You're, you're yeah. some of the slow people. Yeah. 1,537 <laughs> minutes and a half. So that's um, uh, that's just over a day. Sarah, what are you what are you thinking? 183 minutes. Oh, 183 minutes. 183 yeah. minutes. Okay, just over three hours. Yeah. Uh, Alex, you up or down for three hours? Well, I've gone for a nice Christmassy number, Richard. Oh. Six six six. Oh, the number of the Christmas. Perfect. Six six six. Just over 11 hours. Um, so your average is. 424 and a half minutes. Seven hours, okay. roughly. So seven hours or just over 24 <laughs> hours. Let's find out, shall we? How long did it take Trent Grimsey to swim the channel and which team has got the point? Four. Oh, oh, look at that for no. an average. That's not bad. You are nine wow. and a half minutes out from the actual wow. answer. That's amazing stuff. Beautifully done. Let's take a look at our final question, shall we? Come on, let's get a point for the super okay. team up there. Charlie Come on. Craig. We can do this. Here can. is yep. your next question. Set in 2018, <laughs> what is the world record for the most seedless grapes stuffed in the mouth? Mm. What do you think? You've got to be careful with that sort of thing, though. We, we Don't try it at home. Mm. We did Tarkasta oh. as an Edinburgh show, and the final round was stuffing seedless grapes in their mouth. You are kidding oh. me. How many did they get in, darling? I mean, I did uh, think I, I think I said on stage what the world record was, but I can't remember anything that I have ever said before. Is he showing his doodah? I'm not showing my doodah to anyone. Alex's doodah I mean, is only wrong. for me. <laughs> I'm definitely wrong, but I do remember the ballpark figure. Oh, interesting, Craig. What, what were you thinking on this one? Well, I was thinking just my favourite numbers, really. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seventy-seven. Nice. Seventy-seven says. Craig, um, Shodding, go up or down from 77? So I've gone for 57. Craig, 57. Which Craig. may well be if similar to somebody else. Copied oh. Alex. This is unbelievable. This I absolutely have goes not against the spirit Alex. of everything so that House of Games stands for. I can hand on heart tell you that Alex's number and my number are very different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Right, I hear you. Uh, so your average, Shodding and Craig, is 67. Um, Sarah, what were you thinking? I've gone 50. 50 grapes, says Sarah. Now, Shodding said 57. She Assures us that is a long way away from your answer, it is. Alex. OK, let's yeah. see your answer. Couldn't be more different. I've gone for 58. Ah, uh, 58, sorry. It's an even number. I'm so sorry I accused you of cheating. Mm. So your average is 54. Those both sound like rather good answers. What do you think at home? What have you got on this one? How many grapes can be stuffed in the mouth and who has got the point? 94! Oh! Oh, point to Charlene and Craig. Well done. Oh, yes. And Craig, very much the closest I'm there delighted. as well. Well played. <gasps> well, so that's the end of that round. Shall we put our tablets away? Let's take a look at our scores. Who is going to win our trophy and win our Christmas prize? Oh, Ooh. I'm ever so close. Craig. Oh, it is very I close. Know. Craig and Charlene, you have two <laughs> points each. Sarah, you have four. Alex Horn in the lead with five. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Shall we play another round? Yes, Just please. Three please. rounds to go on this Christmas House of Games. Your next round is... Don't cry for me, Guatemala. Now, for this round, uh, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need some help from my Christmas house band. So let's welcome them, please. Welcome to the house band. Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas, house Merry band. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now, they're helping us out with this round, and you've mm. helped us out as well, because before the show, we asked you a series of general knowledge questions, mm. OK? You gave us some answers. What you didn't know was that the answers you were giving, or correct answers, would also complete the lyrics to famous songs, which my house band are going to play now, OK? If you gave incorrect answers, you will not be completing those famous lyrics. You will get a point for every single one you get right. And the first thing we asked you before the show was this. Which of the Teletubbies is yellow and has a curly antennae on her head? We're going to find out the answers, but we'll find them out at the end of this lyric. Deck the hall. 
Bells with bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. La la. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Po. <laughs> <laughs> Down we now are gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Dipsy. <laughs> <laughs> Lala. Yeah. 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 Alex and Charlene get themselves a point there. The answer was Lala. Very well done. I think that. that's the only one I got right. Uh, let's find out, shall we? Here is your next question, and it is: What does a campanologist play? Okay, you all gave us an answer. We're going to hear your answers at the end of this lyric. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> Jingle. Trombone. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, Jingle. Tamp. <laughs> Jingle. Bells. Alex. Jingle trombone will stay with me for a long time, <laughs> surely. <laughs> well, if you don't know the answer, you may as well oh, just go big gotta, or you, go home. Go yeah. big or go home, yeah. exactly right. Two more. Here's your next one. We asked you, Donju and Winter Nellis are varieties of which fruit? We're going to see your answers now and see if they complete the lyrics to this famous song. Good luck. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a grape. <laughs> On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a melon. <laughs> <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a mango. <laughs> On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a... Apple. Oh, <laughs> close. So lucky. Close relative. That's a close relative. That was. That was <laughs> close. That's, that's the closest we got. Uh, I think Craig should get a point for that. Yeah, we'll I do. think yeah. so. Listen, it's Christmas. I'll, I'll, I'll give Craig a point. Craig gets yeah. a point. That's Ooh, absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. If he's hustling us, though... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're suddenly buzzing in for the rest of the show... Yeah. <laughs> I won't be. Yeah. Uh, final question in this round. The last thing we asked you was this. What is the first name of the presenter who hosted a weekly house party on TV in the 1990s? OK, you all gave us an answer, and it should complete this lyric. Noel. 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 Beautiful. And congratulations to our band. Thank you, band. Yay! Merry Christmas, one and all. Great round. Let's take a look at what that has done to the scores. Here's how we're looking. Craig and Shawnee have four each. Sarah has five. Alex Horn, our leader, with eight. Yay! Or what I like to call our Christmas leader with Christmas eight. Christmas eight. Yeah. Well done, Alex. Let's play our next round, shall we? Just two rounds to go. Our next round is this. Where is Kazakhstan? I wonder if you could take your tablets out again for me, please. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a map onto your tablets now. This is today's map. This is our Christmas map. And it's Europe. Now, I wonder if you could find me the following, please. The capital of the country that has gifted the people of London a Christmas tree displayed in Trafalgar Square every year since 1947. So where is that, please? Oh, dear. That's, quite, that's a nice Christmassy question. What do you think at home? Do you know the answer to this? And then would you know where the capital of that country is? 
Sarah, what, do you think you know what the answer is? Yes, 100%. Is, Oslo. So the country is... Norway. Norway, and the capital is Oslo. OK, let's take a look at where Sarah is. OK, there you are in Sweden. Oh, um, no! Yeah. You'll probably end up being yeah. nearer Oslo than anyone else <laughs> in the wrong country. Alex, did you think it was Norway? I did think it was Norway and Oslo, but I thought it was the country on the left of your country. Oh, let's Sarah. take a little look at where Alex is. You are in Norway. <laughs> Charlene. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, uh... Charlene, did you know the answer to this one? <laughs> and you said Norwegian fur. OK. Oh. Yeah. I chose, like, somewhere on the map that looked cold. Oh. oh. That is Iceland, and oh. it really is I know. cold. Uh, Craig, what were you thinking the answer was? I went Norway. <sighs> you are in Craig. Norway. So, let's take a look, shall we? Where is Oslo, and who has got the point? Oh, oh, Alex is absolutely bang on. Oh. Um, you're all pretty. I'm going to give all three of you a point because you're all very, very close there. Well oh. done. Even though you're in the wrong country, but that's fine. So points for all of you, but Alex, you're bang on. Very well done. Here's your next one. I wonder if you could find me this. The birthplace of pop singer Rita Ora. Oh, I know. Um... Oh dear. What do you think at home? Do you know where Rita Ora is from? No, but. <laughs> that looks good. I don't feel like the country's here that I want her to be from. Mm. Right, then I suspect <laughs> what you think is wrong, then. Uh, OK, what do we think? Where was Rita Ora born? Um, Alex, we'll start with you. Do you think you know the answer? No. Lovely. So what was your what was your? I think thinking? it's an Irish name, Rita Ora. So I've gone Dublin. <laughs> OK, Rita Ora. <laughs> Pretty much Dublin there, I think. Yeah. Um, Charlene, did you know the answer to this? I, I think it's Croatia, but I don't oh. know. Where I am on the map. You are in Finland there, which is which to be fair, is much more Christmassy than Croatia. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, Craig, did you have any ideas here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I went Portugal. Portugal. Oh. Oh, wow. I was making it up, but I thought I like Portugal. Portugal. Um, Sarah. <laughs> for some reason I think Germany. Yeah, right in the middle of Germany. Now, I have grave news, she was not born in any of those oh. countries. She was actually born in Pristina which is the capital of Kosovo. That's it. Ah. So you were not a million miles away with Croatia. I mean, you were a million miles away from Croatia. Yeah. But you were quite right that that's the neck of the wood she's from. So where is Kosovo and who has won the point? Oh Sarah, you have somehow won that point. Well done. I mean, the whole well thing, yeah. Here is your final one. I wonder if you could find me this. The capital of the country that has the highest beer consumption per capita. Uh, what do you think at home on this one? What country would that be, do you reckon? There's a couple of suspects, right? Mm. That's really hard. It's per yeah. capita, then. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the most in the world as well, not, wow. just, uh, not just on the map. I'm not quite sure. There'd be, like, two or three that I'd be torn between, I think. Charlene, what was your thinking here? German beers are quite popular. Yes. And I knew where it was on the map because Sarah had already done it, so yeah. that's why I put so my answer where it is. Germany. Yeah. OK. Craig, what were you thinking? Das ist gut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, das you... Germany. Ah. I thought, too. You know, like, Oktoberfest and all mm. of that. Sarah, what were you thinking? I went for London. It could be London. I just think, surely... Please have put it in the right place. Yeah, that's, that's, that's London. <laughs> Alex, what are you thinking? So, so far, we've got Germany mm. and we've got the, the UK. That's, so, I um... put it where I thought Belgium was, but now I can't remember where Belgium was. You are in Switzerland. Uh, oh! oh very well, that's, that's definitely wrong. Quite <laughs> <big. Yeah. laughs> Let's find out, shall we, and see who's won the point. The country that drinks the most beer is... the Czech Republic, Ooh. Prague. Oh. So, the point goes oh. to Craig. Well oh. done, Craig. Oh, well done. Nice to see Prague. Yeah, it's that area, isn't it? Yeah. That is the end of that round. I wonder if you could put your tablets away, please. We only have one more round to go before we find our first ever Christmas champion of House of Games. Let's take a look at the scores. Charlene has got four points. Craig has got six points. Sarah, seven. Alex Horn has got a two-point lead going into our final round. Oh, so. close. Really close. We know what our final round is always the same, and it is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Now, a point for a correct answer, a point off if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. Oh. OK, I know it's Christmas and all. Um, <laughs> good luck, everyone. Here's your first category. 
Sunday lunch. So there will be things you might find in a Sunday lunch. There will be a clue above. Um, please smash them together. According to the well-known mnemonic for the colours of the rainbow, who gave battle in vain? Yes, Alex. Richard of Yorkshire Pudding. Well played, Richard oh, of York yeah. and Yorkshire Pudding. Smashing together, you get Richard of Yorkshire Pudding. Nicely played, Alex. Here we are, here's your next one. In the sitcom Fleabag, the character played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge runs a cafe themed around which pet? Yes, Sarah. Guinea pigs in blankets. Guinea pigs in blankets? Yeah. That's a lovely image, isn't it? Guinea yeah. pigs in blankets, well done. Guinea pigs and pigs in blankets, well played, Sarah. Here's your <laughs> next one. Meryl Streep starred as a Danish woman living in Kenya in which 1985 film? Yes, that is Sarah. Um, it was Out of Africa. Carrots. Here's the right answer. Well done. Out of Africa and carrots. Um, here is your next category, and it is fish. So what are these fish and what are the clues above? Smash them together, please. In which 1952 film musical does Gene Kelly perform an iconic dance routine with an umbrella? Yes, Sarah. Singing in the rainbow trout. Oh, singing in the rainbow trout? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you are good at answers. Yeah. Yeah. She's quick. Brilliant. Here's your next clue in your next fish. Which 80s British game show featured European contestants and was presented by Henry Kelly? Yes, that is oh. Alex. Going for goldfish? Well played, going for yeah. gold and goldfish. Nicely done, Alex. Kelly. Next clue, next fish. Oh, oh, we're done. Oh, oh. No oh, more clues, no, no I don't even got to push fish. my puzzle. Oh, <laughs> Let's find out who is our first ever House of Games Christmas champion. By one <gasps> point, it is Alex Horn. Oh. By one point. That's pretty close. Very close. Uh, Alex Horn, congratulations. You've won yourself you, a Christmas prize. Which of these prizes would you like to take with you, Alex? I mean, I think it would it would be the fondue set. The what? Sorry, it would be the Christmas fondue oh, set, yeah. Richard. Oh, yeah. And so it is. Oh, <laughs> Alex Horn takes home a Christmas fondue set. Congratulations, Alex. You get a trophy as well. Wow. Uh, but what, yeah. are gonna, what are you going to do with the other Christmas items? Yeah. Because so when we come to someone's house at Christmas, yeah. you leave with a gift. Yeah. yeah. We've come to your house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, please, terribly rude. Please, please, please. If only can one person gets a gift set? and the three of us don't. OK, you can get the next choice. What would you like? Duvet set. Duvet set to Sarah. She's just taken what I want. <laughs> oh, 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 no, OK, 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 OK. That no, backfired, no, 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 I do really Charlene? want the duvet set. Charlene, you can also have a duvet set. Yay! And can I have the booze? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll have the sherry, darling. The sherry goes to Craig Revel Hallward, so everyone gets a present. Yay! Merry Christmas from me to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. That was an absolute pleasure. Merry Christmas from all five of us to you. Have a lovely Christmas.